So uh, what are you most excited about uh, that you see in the horizon for Phoenix? What I'm most excited about is that there is truly a big conversation about people coming together in the neighborhoods in a more intense way in this idea of mixed use, uh, that we have a public market that we go to on, I think it's Wednesdays and, and, and Saturdays, mm -hmm. that we have a culture that now has the film bar downtown and we don't have to just go to the commercial film house. I like the idea that there's a gallery scene that's uh, a place where you can, you know, you're, there's people on the streets. There's mm -hmm. finally starting to be people on the streets. Mm -hmm. That's great optimism for that. Uh, I think that the conversation about um, the, the urban landscape is, is, is something healthy, but I think we still have a lot of challenges ahead. Uh, another thing that I'd be very interested in, and I've had some conversations, but I think our, our schools in Arizona are deplorable, that not just in the, in the sense of the academic, but the built environments. Mm. Uh, we're living in a lot of uh, windowless prison-like structures. Mm that were not good when they were built, but still exist, and it still becomes the model. Uh, we tear down some of these old schools and we'll be all e equally mediocre ones. I think there's not a spirit of, I, I believe that the Phoenix Public Library system is a unique model of a, a community force in the spirit of architecture. Mm -hmm. And not just the central library exists as it does because there's been an ethos since 1950 Actually, when the Civic Center main library was built, along with the Art Museum at McDowell at Central, where the Art Museum now lives, but at that point, there was a focus on architecture, and that focus has never been lost. Mm -hmm. So whether it be Benny Gonzalez or Haber, I believe, did a library. Benny Gonzalez did too, mm -hmm. uh, to this new cadre of sort of, uh, mm -hmm. of, of libraries, and whether that's uh, Gould Evans, Wendell Burnett's combination of Palo Verde, whether it's the work of Richard and Bauer, whether it's our opportunities, mm -hmm. The library has been a champion of design, mm -hmm. and they show the difference. These buildings have been built by yes. very modest budgets. Yes. I think if this became a model for the school systems mm -hmm. to build elementary schools, middle schools, high schools, mm -hmm. in the same spirit as the libraries of this city, it would right. be phenomenal, yeah. absolutely phenomenal. Right. You know, the community college system does a pretty good job of building really quality buildings, yes. as does the ASU and, and, and U of A now. Those are sort of more expected. Yes. The unexpected one is the school districts, and just because they think they have tight budgets, they're not getting value for their dollar right now. They're getting a lot of really disappointing buildings, and this is where the future exists in those kids. Mm -hmm. And all those things that we believe in architecture can influence your life mm -hmm. and make it better, mm -hmm. and make it more, more functional and operational, mm -hmm. and makes us more aware of a different point of view. What is going to school about? But gaining the tools to have a proper perspective on a point of view. Mm -hmm. So that'd be really cool.